Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing well there's no title for it it's just everything is sliced so I'm going to call it a sliced meal these are the ingredients that I am using I've got some spud taters which haven't quite boiled well I don't really want them to boil because I've got to slice them I've got some sliced onions there oh don't that too close and I've got some sliced pe pepperoni now I've got a tin of uh, chicken soup and it's proper chicken soup this time uh, just in case it needs any juice to it if it doesn't then well we'll see how it goes oh and that is heavy that is the dish I'm putting it all in right while the spud taters are on cooking on number three I am just gonna give these onions a little going can you see here go and give a little going over um, well that's it, I mean I don't want the spud taters to boil and I don't want the onions brown because uh, well, it's pointless because it's going in the oven so I'm going to just make sure all these are coated in a bit of oil that I put which is now vegetable oil and I have been told to use so yes, I'm just going to put these on number three and let them, let them, well, let them cook a little bit. Because like I said, I don't want them brown. I just want them a little, little cooked. And the taters, the spud taters were starting to boil. So what I'm going to say, it does say to peel them very thinly so I'm not peeling them that thin uh, not peel not peel slice them very thinly so and I'm going to put them in the dish I've got outside so yeah so the, the onions are nearly done I forgot to show you, but there's some tomatoes to go on top. Now it does say cheese, but as you know, Lee doesn't like cheese. So it's uh, a case of it's not going on this time. So it's, this, this knife, I know this knife isn't very sharp, but when your spud taters are done, and it slides through easy as anything it's okay so there we go then it does say to add some onions on top which I didn't want to go brown but it doesn't matter they are and um, if you're wondering I've put a little a little um, a little drizzle of oil in the bottom of the pan to just to stop the spud taters from sticking get across will ya that's it right now the pepper oh no oh, wait wait right I've got some nippers for the pepper army so I'm gonna oh dear I might have to use my fingers to get the nippers so I'm gonna put the pepper army on uh, uh. can you see what I'm doing you can't even see what I'm doing move that pancake 
move to that dish that's it and then now you can see what I'm doing so I'm pu 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 pupping, putting pepperami on yeah that's it so it's like more like a, a pizza like a sort of pizza thing with the pepperami and then with the different nippers excuse me potatoes, potatoes I'm going to put some yatos on oh dear come here <laughs> oh dear I can't get out of them so Tommy Artos, they've not been sliced properly. I need to re-slice them. I'll get back to putting the Tommy Artos on. Oh, okay, they haven't been cut. So yes, just going to put one more on. one more bit on and then it says you know you've seen what I've done then it says to keep putting the spud taters on and the onions and the pepperami and the, and the tomatoes or whatever I call things it says to keep putting them on and come back come back come back come back uh, keep putting them on until it's laid up so that'll be the spud taters well that's it spud taters onto the onions i will show it you when it's all done right i changed my mind i didn't think chicken soup would go well with it so where are you where are you chopped tomatoes now we've come to the last layer um, well yeah the last layer uh, we've run out of get off tomatoes but it doesn't matter because I'm going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes have you as I have just shown you so yes yeah, so let's get the rest of this honey in now I don't think I put enough on the between the br the or oh, the bread, <laughs> the uh, potatoes. So let's just see if we can scrape it out. Now I don't know if I said this is that we're on the last layer. The camera, I don't know whether it will turn on or turn off. Anyway, what I'm going to do now there's some uh, potatoes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice these up, put them on the top. It does say to add cheese, but it's an optional. And obviously, you know, he doesn't like cheese. So that uh, that is the spud taters sliced up. There we are, putting that on. Hold on. Come here. Oh, oh. <laughs> sliding off again. Oh, it's took a bit of meat off with it. Right. So, yes, I'm just going to keep slicing that tater, spud tater. I did say I put some oil in the bottom, and I don't think, well, a little bit of oil in the bottom so I'm going to spread these tomatoes for the juice any juice in here I'm gonna make a mess of this so I'm gonna put it on with the spoon now that is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes so that the I know the spud taters were partly done so were the onions but well it's for just mainly for everything else plus the spud taters um, 
well I've, like I said I've coated it in tummy our toes hopefully nothing burns and everything turns out perfect that is the end product and yes all the juice has gone through mother's juice has gone through right you can see the end product in the background and this is the taste test look how steamy that is so I'm gonna get a bit of spud with a bit of everything well a bit of everything on it <laughs> struggling here <laughs> Potatoes could just do be a little bit longer. I'm not even trying tomatoes because I don't like tomatoes. But yeah, that is absolutely lovely. Right, Kay says it was nice, especially the pepper army. The potatoes were just, still a little bit hard. So I'll just put it back in the oven and, well, just going to let it cook a little bit longer. Oh, let it cook a bit longer. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see if I can mess this up. If uh, There's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, that's that. Please do, and I know a lot of you have. Um, oh, if you want to leave a comment and a recipe, or a comment, or just a recipe, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. What's that? Oh, it's my glasses. <laughs> get them subscribing, get yourself subscribing, get everybody subscribing. Thank you. Bye.